ready to unlock the five-step blueprint to launching a faceless AI podcast channel and captivate audiences without ever showing your face. Here is a sample of what you will be able to create by the end of this video. All right, let's uh, dive right in. We're taking a deep dive today into a report all about AI in education. Sounds exciting. Yeah, it's a big one from the U.S. Department of Education and it's pretty dense. Definitely a lot to unpack. But don't worry, we're gonna break it down for you. Get to those key takeaways, the stuff that really matters. Absolutely, the stuff that's gonna impact, well, pretty much everyone, really. Yeah, I mean, students, parents, educators, yeah. heck, even just curious citizens. Anyone who's interested in, well. Now I'm going to show you how you can create your very own podcast channel using AI. We'll also learn how to create a channel, make a logo, banners, and choose keywords that will help people find your podcast. Let's get started. Step one, choose your favorite topic first. Think about something you really like. It could be animals, space, cooking, stories, or anything else you're excited about. This will be what your podcast is all about. Picking something you love makes it fun to talk about, and people who like the same things will want to listen to you. Step two, create your YouTube channel. Now, let's make a YouTube channel where your podcast will live. To create your YouTube channel, start by accessing YouTube at youtube.com. Click on your profile icon in the top right corner. Then select Create a Channel and enter your channel name. Choose a handle, which is a unique identifier. If your preferred handle is taken, you can add numbers or underscores to make it unique. Finally, click Get Started to create your channel. Step 3. Customize your channel with logos and banners. Now that you have your channel, let's make it look special. We can create a logo and a banner for your channel to make it stand out. To customize your channel, start by clicking on View Channel and then select Customize Channel. In the Customization menu, navigate to the Branding tab. Here, you can upload your profile picture. Use Canva at canva.com to create your images with the following dimensions. Profile picture, 1080 by 1080 pixels. Banner image, 2560 by 440 pixels. Video watermark, 150 by 150 pixels. Design your images, upload them to your channel, and then click Publish to save your customizations. Step four. Adjust additional settings. To fine tune your YouTube channel, start by accessing YouTube Studio. Click on your profile icon and select YouTube Studio from the drop down menu. Once you're in the studio, navigate to the left sidebar and click on Settings. Then go to the Channel section. In the Basic Information tab, select your country of residence. Next, think of words that describe your podcast. These are called keywords and they help people find your channel when they search on YouTube. Examples could be space, planets, stars, science, or exploration. You can use tools like TubeBuddy to discover popular keywords related to your content. You can get the TubeBuddy keyword tool for free by clicking the link below this video. Use it to search for terms associated with your channel's niche, copy the popular keywords you find, and paste them into the keywords section in YouTube Studio. Remember to include your channel name as a keyword as well. Proceed to the Feature Eligibility section. Under Intermediate Features, you'll need to verify your phone number to unlock capabilities like uploading videos longer than 15 minutes. For advanced features, you may need to complete video verification, provide an ID, or build your channel history to access more tools and functionalities. Next, go to Customization and click on the Basic Info tab to add a description of your channel. Write a brief overview that incorporates your selected keywords to improve searchability. If you're unsure what to write, tools like ChatGPT can help you craft a compelling description. In the same section, you can add links to your other social media profiles. To encourage viewers to subscribe, create a direct subscribe link by going to your channel page and appending sub confirmation one to your channel URL. Copy this updated URL and add it as a link titled subscribe. Don't forget to provide your email address for business inquiries in the contact information section. Once you've filled in all the necessary details, click publish to save your changes. Step five, create your first podcast episode using AI. One of Notebook LM's coolest features is its ability to generate AI podcasts. So in the case of a podcast, you need to upload sources that have information for the podcast. You can upload video files, PDFs, transcripts, articles, or any text-based material. The best way is to use a blog or a YouTube video. To get started with Notebook LM, head over to notebooklm.google.com and sign in using your Google account. It's as simple as logging into Gmail. Once you're in, click on Create. Here we need to upload information for the podcast. 
You can add video files, PDFs, transcripts, articles, or any text-based material. Just drag and drop your files or paste the content directly into the notebook. The best way is to use a blog or a YouTube video. After searching for an artificial intelligence report, I came across this report about artificial intelligence and the future of teaching and learning. Just copy the URL and paste it into Notebook LM. It will fetch all the details from the report, automatically create a summary of your sources, and suggest three big questions you can ask to dive into the material. You can also generate more detailed guides that give you an overview of the information in different formats like a table of contents, a briefing document, a timeline, FAQs, and a study guide. But we need to focus on the audio overview. Notebook LM can generate an audio conversation between two people. Hit Generate, and it will take less than 10 minutes to create the audio. Now, a conversation is generated, just like a podcast. Listen to it. All right, let's uh, dive right in. We're taking a deep dive today into a report all about AI in education. Sounds exciting. Yeah, it's a big one from the US Department of Education, and it's pretty dense. Definitely a lot to unpack. But don't worry, we're going to break it down for you. Click on the three dots and download it. Next, we need to separate the audio of the two people. For that, you can use any video or audio editor. In this case, I'm using CapCut. Import the audio and add it to the timeline. Expand it a little and play the audio. All right, let's uh, dive right in. We're taking a deep dive today into a report all about AI in education. Stop the cursor where the male voice ends and split it. When the female voice ends, add another split. Move the female audio to the second timeline. You want to keep doing this until you've separated the male and female audio. After doing all that, select the female's timeline and delete it. Now we have only the male audio with pauses for the female. Click on export, deselect the video, and select audio. Name it male and export the audio. Then click on the reverse button or press Ctrl Z to bring back the female's audio. Now select and delete the male's audio and export the female's audio. We have successfully separated both audios. Visuals are like the emojis of your content. They add emotion and make everything more engaging. While the AI podcast is powerful on its own, Adding faces and animations can significantly enhance your audience's experience. Animated faces help establish a connection, making your content more relatable and memorable. Eye-catching visuals are essential on social media platforms to grab attention and stand out online. For image generation, we need a prompt for that. Open Chat GPT. Here's the initial prompt that you can find in this video's description. Paste that prompt. ChatGPT will provide you with three different prompts for image generation. Choose one and head to Midjourney, Leonardo, Microsoft Designer, or any other good image generation tool. I'm using the Flux Image Generator on Carrier AI. Paste in your prompt and click on Generate. Four images will be generated. You might not get great results on the first try. If that happens, keep regenerating. The goal is to have the best image possible. You can download any of the chosen images by clicking on the download feature here. You will see it when you hover over the image. After downloading and saving the image, next is upscaling it. To do that, click on the Enhance tab here at the top and import your image. After upscaling your image, right-click on the image and download it. Next is separating the male and the female in the image. You will see why later. For now, you can import the image into any image editing tool like Canva. Adjust it to fit the white Canva. Then click on the Crop Editing feature here. Then on Freeform, now you can easily crop the first character and save it as a copy. Then come back, click on the Reset button and do the same again. Crop the second character and save it as a copy. To make them talk, the best tools are DID and HeyGen, but they are paid. Other free tools are Hedra and Infinigro. Let's use Hedra in this case. First, open Hedra's website and click on Create. You'll need to sign up before proceeding. On the creation page, you have the option to generate audio using text, record your voice directly, or upload a recorded audio file. Since we already have the audio, click on Upload and upload your first character's audio. Next, upload the corresponding character image. You can drag and drop an image here. Click to upload or paste from your clipboard. Alternatively, you can use the Generate tab to create an image using a prompt or take a snapshot. 
However, since we already have an image, click here to upload it. Once you do so, it will automatically zoom in on the character's face. Finally, click Generate. Please note that this process may take some time. All right, let's uh, dive right in. We're taking a deep dive. Do the same and animate the second character as well. Sounds exciting. The final step is putting everything together. Open any video editor. In this example, I'm using CapCut. Open it and import both videos and also import the main image. First, add the image to the timeline. Then, add the first video as a layer above. Adjust the length of the image file to match that of the video. Then, transform its size according to the main image. Adjust the image exactly onto the main image. Do the same for the second character. Adjust it perfectly onto the main image. Then you can start adding sound effect, transition, and captions if you choose. And that's how you can create a podcast-like video using AI tools totally for free.